Hello friends, this is Yusuf here. Today in this video, we are going to talk about uh, how do we get the um, uh, public case 400 access uh, in 2018. Okay, so this video came into picture because um, we have the real video uh, how to get access to 400.com, but uh, it was down for some time and it came map. So I need to give a small awareness on how to ac access this perform.com with the new rules and regulations. So if you are wondering uh, why it was down and why it came up, what are the new regulations, you can go to www.pop400.com and you can very well read the story here. Okay, so you will be understanding it easily. But what is the new rule now? So the new rule is uh, nothing but uh, there is no exist, uh, there is only existing users, there is no new users. Okay, that's one part. But the other part is for the new users, uh, they, you can log in to the pub400.com uh, anonymously, which means they have already created some list of user profiles. You can very well uh, start using it. Okay, so this video we're going to talk about two things: uh, how to get your Windows client access, which is nothing but uh, this particular uh, uh, software, and then using which how to access the pub400 uh, is founder server. Okay. So first of all, I'll give you a link in the description box. You can download this particular thing. Uh, okay, so that will take you to the wait a minute. Huh? Yeah, a zip file like this. Okay, so if you open the zip file, you'll be having a folder called combo. I have extracted it here. So if you go inside, it'll be disk one and come down, and you'll be seeing a personal communication trial. Okay, so this is the trial version of the software for 60 days. You can just double click it and give next, 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 and then install it. And once you install, you will be getting uh, this particular software. Okay, so what next? So let's go to the Pub 400 itself. So I'm having uh, my okay run cmd. You will open the command prompt. So you can just test it whether you have access. Okay, so telnet uh, pub400.com. So accessing to your uh, IBM server or AS1 server is nothing but a telnet connection. Okay, you can do it from your command prompt itself. Okay, now you can see maybe I'll I'll show here it is big. Okay, so you can sign it with anonymously, which means the user name will be user xxxx, where xxx is actually the four-digit number from one to five hundred, and password is the same with the lower case. Uh, so here is the example like user zero one two three and password zero one two three. So we can try now like uh, user maybe uh, zero two two two. And I'm giving you a CR0222, and it worked. Okay, so which means we are now having access to Pub 400 with the uh, predefined uh, user IDs. Okay, so how it is good, how it is bad. So if you ask me, uh, so since we have this set of already existing user profiles, everybody can log in with any user profile. Which means if you have a, if you log in with some other, maybe for example 222, and you have your own uh, coding and data available. And if someone ex else accessing the same ID and deleting your steps, you cannot prevent them. So that is a reservation dish. But on the other hand, considering without having a free access, this is much better. Okay, so these guys are like uh, giving us uh, V7 R3 environment. Uh, okay, to use uh, for us freely is very great thing. Next, okay. On the other hand, uh, it's like. We have few advantages like uh, now we have 500 profiles we can log in with any profiles we don't need to memorize the password because password is same as the user profile and we can log in two profiles simultaneously right so with two different uh, user ids but still they have mentioned that there will be a strict um, connection limit from a single ip but still i tried with two profiles it's working and we can also do some basic ftp steps and other uh, steps so anyway so it is helpful so finally what i'm going to show you is uh, once you have downloaded this particular software how do you sign into a uh, pub 400 from this particular software so go to communication and configure okay choose i series lan and uh, 5250 tcp ip go to link parameters and give this ip so this ip is nothing but the pub 400 ip so you can again get this from the command prompt like ping uh, www pub 400.com so that should give you the ip okay 185.134.134 okay so and then give the port 23 and then nothing else okay you can click, uh, click ok click ok then you should be able to see this particular thing and once you have it uh, you can log in with the uh, user uh, 0444 uh, user 0444 it still works so it's great 
so i hope this would have give you some uh, idea about how to get the free public uh, ibma access in 2018 i don't know uh, what rules will be changing uh, in future for pub 400 i'll keep you posted until then see you in the next video thanks for watching